Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to dis uh, going to discuss this concept that is Cauchy sequence, right? Uh, we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence. So what will I do? I will write the definition of convergent sequence first. Then we will compare the definition of Cauchy sequence and convergent sequence, and we will try to understand the difference between these two concepts, right? So let us start with the definition of convergent sequence first, which we have already seen. Suppose we have a sequence x n and it converges to x. Then we are familiar with the epsilon definition. Let me write here for given epsilon greater than zero, there exist and belongs to set of natural numbers such that d of x n x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n. This is a definition of uh, convergent sequence, right? So let us talk about Cauchy sequence. A sequence x n is said to be Cauchy sequence if for given epsilon greater than 0, you can easily compare, okay, this definition with this one and you can easily understand the difference between them. There exist and belongs to set of natural number, okay, up to this line, the definition remains same, such that, such that D of Xn Xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. So will you tell me what is the difference be between these two definitions? Can you guess what is the difference? See up to this line such that both definition looks same. Here in the uh, definition of convergent sequence, we have one fixed point x and we find the distance between x n and x and which is less than epsilon. But here there is no any fixed point xn xm both are terms of a sequence and we are saying the distance between them is less than epsilon okay and here n greater than or equal to capital n we we have taken two terms so that's why we have n and m both and those should be greater than our capital n okay so this is definition of Cauchy sequence in case of convergent sequence we have one fixed point and suppose this is a fixed point x and all terms of sequence are moving towards a single point. You are getting, so then we say the sequence is converges to x. But in case of Cauchy sequence, there is no any fixed point. Simply we are saying the distance between successive terms of a sequence is reducing. They are coming more and more closer to us. Okay. Epsilon means what? Epsilon means very small. We are saying the distance between xn and x is less than epsilon that means distance is very small okay distance between what that fixed point x and the terms of a sequence that distance is very small that means those terms of a sequence are very close to x but see here we don't have any point simply we are saying the distance between two terms of a sequence is very small that means uh, any two terms of a sequence are coming uh, very close to each other, right? So let us try to understand the same concept with the help of diagram, okay? So suppose this is matrix space XD we have. This is fixed point X and this is X1, this is X2, this is X3. So all points of a sequence are moving towards a single point. Then what we say that sequence Xn converges to x but in case of Cauchy sequence there is no any fixed point suppose the first point is x1 here x2 is here x3 x3 will be here they get that means distance between x2 and x3 okay and distance between x2 and x3 you can easily see the distance is reducing x4 will be more close to it x5 will be more so in this way in this way, all points are coming close, more and more close to each other, getting? There is no any fixed target, there is no any fixed point x. But just distance between two successive terms is reducing, then we say the corresponding sequence is the Cauchy sequence, okay? Let us discuss one example, uh, so you can understand this concept, okay? 
make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us discuss this example okay what is the sequence we have one by n matrix space rdu du means the usual distance and we have to prove that one by n is a cauchy sequence okay so let me mention here we have what is our sequence xn is one by n. so obviously with the help of epsilon definition i'm going to prove it is a cauchy sequence just now we have seen right let us take one epsilon first epsilon greater than zero be given so our target is to find that natural number n capital n such that d of xn xm less than epsilon so let us find d of xn xm d means distance here we have a usual distance so it is mod xn minus xm right xn is 1 by n sorry 1 by n xm is 1 by n right same thing can be written as 1 by n plus minus 1 by m right if you take separate separate mod value will get increased that means this is less than or equal to mod 1 by n plus mod minus 1 by m right so this result I use that is mod a plus b less than or equal to mod a plus mod b. Okay, this result I use here. Let us apply mod. n is a natural number. So obviously it is positive. So we'll have 1 by n. Because of this mod minus 7 get vanished and we will have 1 by n. Let me call it as 1. Okay. Let us use this space now. Okay. See, our target is to find that natural number n and Archimedean property comes here to help us, right? So, by Archimedean property. See, in previous examples also, we have seen this property. See, this property says if you have any real number, we can find natural number greater than that. So now we have to think and we have to decide what should be our that real number such that we will get that capital N as a natural number, right? Let me do some rough work. Our target is to prove D of Xn Xm less than Epsilon, but we got its value is less than or equal to 1 by N plus 1 by M. What will I do? I will replace N and M by capital N. So 1 by N plus 1 by N, which is obviously 2 by N. And I should have it is less than epsilon. Let us interchange them. So we'll get 2 by epsilon less than n. Getting by interchanging them. So our, by Archimedean property, <coughs> there exists capital N belongs to set of natural number such that 2 by epsilon less than n. So that means for this real number, we will get a natural number which is greater than that. Let us interchange them. I'm shifting n here, epsilon there. So 2 by n less than epsilon. So another important thing we have got. So I'm calling it as 2, right? We remember at the end of the definition of Cauchy sequence, always we write for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. That is also so much important condition. So let us think about it. What is that condition n m greater than or equal to capital N? It means n is greater than capital N, m is also greater than capital N. Let us take reciprocals, then inequality will get changed, right? Okay, so let me remove this rough work, not required now. Let us add them, okay? Let us add these two inequalities since we want 1 by n plus 1 by n. So adding, what will I get if you add? 1 by n plus 1 by n less than or equal to this 1 by n plus 1 by capital N that means 2 by capital N 3. So now it's time to combine 1, 2 and 3. Okay. There is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. Okay. So uh, I have kept all important informations here. 1, 2 and 3. So from 1, 2 and 3 d of 
xn xn we started with this it is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m right 1 by n plus 1 by m less than or equal to 2 by n right and 2 by n less than epsilon and it is true for this with this condition so for all n m greater than or equal to capital let me remove this part it is not required now just a minute let me remove this part first so simply what can we write here therefore d of xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n so this is definition of Cauchy sequence therefore we can declare therefore xn is Cauchy in R D U. xn means what 1 by n. so therefore 1 by n that is 1 by n is Cauchy sequence in R D U. right so in this way we proved the given sequence 1 by n is a Cauchy in R with a usual matrix. So make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. See you.